Okay, so you probably got more than one piece of gear now, and you want to know how to make them all sync up together with MIDI. Well, I'm going to try and show you. MIDI is about reading the manual. You have to have one piece of gear to do your master, to be the master. And what I like to use for my master is, bam, the Yamaha Arm 1X. Now, let me show you what you set on it to make it the master. Okay, you get your manual out and you open it up to the glossary. Bam! You look up the word MIDI. The MIDI setup page 135. So then you turn to one page 135 and what do you know? MIDI setup. And then it tells you what all you can set up. You say MIDI sync. Hmm, you can do it internal MIDI or MTC. You want to do it internal because this is going to be your master. At least it's my master. If it was not the master and it, something was leading into it, then it'd be MIDI because the MIDI code would be sending from the other device to this, and this would just be listening to that MIDI and making it the same tempo as the other thing. Now MIDI does not send actual music. All it does is send timing, okay? And it will it'll also send other things too, but it does not send sound. It sends like uh control changes and stuff you do with knobs. But you can turn that all off or set it to however you like it. But I'm gonna show you how I set it. Okay, here it is the ARM 1X. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna push uh utility because it says utility it means MIDI setup. That means I have to push it twice. One for system, two for MIDI setup. That's so why I'll press utility, utility, and it comes up with this. So now here's what I have it set up with. I have internal MIDI sync. That means this is the main machine and it's gonna all do all of its MIDI internally and it's just gonna send it out. And it's gonna send it out through this cord, the MIDI out cord. And then it's gonna do its offset. I don't have any offset because I don't need it. Uh, MIDI control out. That means it's gonna send uh, controls for everything out through the MIDI cable. Now I'll show you in here it says uh, this is MIDI out. Out means it's going to send out uh, MIDI song, position, pointer, start, continue, and stop. Data will be transmitted and or received by the Yamaha Arm X. And since it's out it means uh, the above data is transmitted only so it's just going to transmit. It's not going to receive anything. And I've echo back through. That means whenever, oh, whenever something comes into this, it just sends it right back out. But I don't. I'm actually only using one chord, so that really doesn't matter. You can set that off. It doesn't really matter. And it says how little arrow that goes over. You press over, and it'll give you more options that you can do. Let me explain what these are again. What TG parameters has whenever I'm editing, uh, editing the sounds in this. When it, whatever effect changes I make to this, it'll change. Get, that change will go through MIDI. I have that off because whenever I'm changing stuff on this, I don't want it to be sent through MIDI. Okay, and this is a uh, voice setup to TG. That means it's going to send all the effects to the stuff that's on the Yamaha RMX. All the effects and stuff. Every time I change a pattern, the effects change because the pattern has its own effects built in them. And what this is is you can send all those effect presets out through the MIDI chord but I don't want to send those out I just send all the rest of this stuff like the pitch and stuff like that uh, but that's what those are now let me go back over here to exit this utility mode but go to the first utility mode master tune zero starts up foot switch I don't use that stuff memory protect will turn it off because I, I like to change stuff uh, the click mode that's that off because that's that talks about the metronome but this this right here is the event chase I have it set to all it sends out everything through the MIDI chord and I have it set to zero milliseconds and uh, the, I don't know what that is uh, I don't know what that is either but I had to change this because if you don't have this set to all and this is zero then it might not stay in sync. You can change it to a different setting. Some of those settings are good, but that zero milliseconds and all is what I have it set to because I'm using the 808 and the 808 is real new and real good so it can take all of it. Some some old machines can't take it all because they're not as good, but this is a, a real good machine so it can take all of them. 
Okay, now I'm sending the output of the ARM1X, and it's going over here. Follow the blue cord, follow the blue cord, up, uh, blam, right into this, the MC808. This is my sampler. My sampler, and it's a beat machine all in one, and it's sending it to this. Okay, with MIDI, there's basically four things you can do. You can either have this just for a keyboard, and whatever you play on these keys will be affected over here. I think it's keys, you get volume and you get the pitch too. And then you got like your wheel, if I had a wheel over here, mod wheel. So like that, but that would be one of the settings. Second one is you got each one of these channels and it sends all that out through MIDI and whatever this channel is playing, that's what this will play too. And the uh, third is you can have it just be in sync together. This will play its own thing and this will be playing its own thing but they'll both be in sync together. And the fourth thing is you can have this be playing all the channels and it's sending all those channels over to here and they both play in sync and this can be doing its own thing and this can be doing its own thing plus anything that's coming out of this will be played in this too so it, this will be doing a whole lot of stuff not just its own stuff and it'll be also playing what's going on over here on each of these channels pretty cool stuff, you gotta love MIDI okay to set MIDI settings on this you gotta push this little system button and you go into the system mode and you get all the different system options you can do I have it right now it's set USB mode storage because if you don't have the USB mode going out to storage the MIDI isn't going to be working on this thing it's all going to be doing the MIDI through that USB cable on your computer and I had problems with that at first because I was like ah, I couldn't figure out what the problem was but I figured it out and so I had this set to storage and what else? Blah, blah, blah. Sequencer. Okay, I have sequencer mode set to slave. It's just a slave. This machine, it's whatever that's doing is sent over here. And it, the, the MIDI is slaved into the other one, so it doesn't have its own MIDI. And next we have read your manual. That's what I've always been telling y'all. Uh, BPM lock and that's all I have set up for MIDI on this thing and I'm not gonna play them <laughs> okay so basically MIDI is how about how you make everything transfer real well and how you make everything on the receiving machine receive it the way you want to receive it so you gotta learn how to transmit and receive or else you won't get it working